Welcome to my entrepreneurial marketing creative blog. In this video, I'll be talking about a variety of different topics, beginning with what is entrepreneurial marketing in its various forms, what is entrepreneurial about my chosen organization, and lastly, my recommendations for that organization on how to improve with regards to their entrepreneurial efforts. According to Rojas in 2014, entrepreneurial marketing is the unique set of marketing practices and methods used by entrepreneurs, startups, and small businesses to market and build sustainable businesses. However, Burke and Holtman argue entrepreneurship explains how and why opportunities are recognised and implemented into customer value through relationship and transactional marketing. My personal definition of entrepreneurial marketing is that it is a creation of new innovative methods of dialogue. It engages customers in a new way through various platforms allowing businesses to have better understanding of what customers want. Stoke says entrepreneurs tend to be innovation oriented driven by new ideas and intuitive market feel, rather than customer orientated or driven by rigorous assessment of market needs. Some key characteristics of entrepreneurial marketers include being creative, opportunistic, driven, passionate, and can problem solve. Drucker says they always search for change, looking for ways to exploit it as an opportunity. Tools that may be used by entrepreneurs of the 21st century include buzz or viral marketing, guerrilla marketing, digital marketing, scarcity, and relationship marketing. So now onto my chosen organization. The company I've chosen to analyze is the Scottish craft beer brewer, Brewdog. Founded in 2007 by two friends from Aberdeen, Brewdog have revolutionized the beer industry by bringing deep, flavorsome, great tasting beer to the mass market through their clever and sometimes controversial marketing efforts. Since their humble beginnings, Brewdog are now the biggest brewery in Scotland and is the most popular craft beer in, bro in both the UK and Scandinavia. It has been one of the fastest growing beer companies of the last seven years and have recently launched a brewery in Columbus, Ohio. In 2016, Brewdog recorded sales of 72 million pounds with operating profit of 7.1 million. However, they still only account for 0.33% of the beer market. Brewdog markets themselves as a beer for punks and they never shy away from the media or a little controversy. Brewdog introduced their equity for punk scheme back in 2009, where they offer normal people the opportunity to buy shares in their company. Back then, they had over 1,300 people invest, and their business model was born. They now have over 60,000 shareholders who take huge pride and interest in the business, while seeing good returns on their investment due to Brewdog's exponential growth. The shareholders also receive perks, including invitations to exclusive events and significantly reduced prices both online and at their bars. This offering from Brewdog stimulated loyalty and long-term engagement from their customers. Brewdog also recently announced plans to donate 10% of their annual profits to charitable organisations, all to be chosen by the Equity Punk Shell. In 2012, Brewdog ran the Paint the Town Blue campaign across the UK. To celebrate the opening of various bars domestically, Brewdog drove a tank down Camden High Street in London, organised a crap beer amnesty in Manchester and projected Brewdog images onto the Houses of Parliament and Battersea Power Station. This was a form of guerrilla marketing, and using high energy and imagination, they could make a large impression combined with a powerful social buzz for considerably lower cost than a traditional marketing alternative. This had the desired effect and made newspaper headlines throughout the country, along with news stories online, increasing the national interest in the brewer and converting beer drinkers along the way. A great success for Brewdog. Brewdog used social media heavily as a marketing tool. It is an ideal platform for blogs, content marketing, and viral marketing. In 2010, they sought to produce the world's strongest beer. After several attempts, they made a beer named The End of History, in which the bottle was encased in dead roadkill, including squirrels and stoats. This, of course, raised some opinions online due to appeasing animal rights, and eventually made media headlines thrusting Brewdog into the limelight again, from which they took full advantage. So here are my recommendations for Brewdog. Firstly, they should increase their social media presence, particularly on Instagram and Facebook. Currently, their number of followers on social media does not represent their company size, especially compared to their competitors with the likes of Stella Artois and Beck's Beer. Celebrity endorsements too, to convert younger drinkers, potentially, as well as perhaps an increased advertising that they're on social media within their bars and on their bottles. Currently, there is no mention of social media presence on any of their products. Changing this could, of course, lead to more followers, but also to increase loyalty and interest amongst its occasional drinkers, who are yet to be fully won over. They should also steer their marketing towards the female audience, as it currently appears as though their unique advertising appeals only to male hipsters. 
Encouraging women to drink craft beer too could heavily increase their pool of potential customers, consequently their market share. Thank you for watching.